Hello everyone, we're going to review our two strumming techniques that we talked about, well kind of three strumming techniques that we talked about and uh, and our rhythmic exercises. So let's start with the flamenco one, um, the basics of the flamenco strum. And remember we talked about how it's in the wrist, not in the elbow. So I don't want to see the hand moving up and down like this. I want the, the forearm to stay straight and I want to move in this manner. So I move from the wrist. So what I'm going to do is with my index and middle finger, I'm going to kick those uh, fingers across the string in this kind of snap exercise that we practiced. So I snap that and then as I do that I turn my wrist this way so I get my thumb underneath the first string. So snap and turn. So I gotta practice that a little bit. So that'd just be one, two, three, four. And if you need to do this more slowly that's fine. Three, four. And then what I'm gonna do once I get my thumb under here as I bring my thumb back in so I can snap it again, I'm going to have my thumb come out and as I turn the wrist back, I'm going to hit the strings coming up. So it's down with the fingers, so I'm like this, down with the fingers, and then up with the thumb. Down with the fingers, up with the thumb. And you can see these go out as this comes in, and this goes out as these come in. One and, one and, one and. And if I come this way a little bit, you'll notice that my forearm is not moving this way at all. There's no elbow in here. It's just snap and turn, and then bring the thumb out and come back. So as I practice this, I'd want to practice this. Um, we'll do our rhythms. First quarter note, one, two, three, four. And just get used to that little turn. Two, three, four. Then with the thumb, one, and, two, and, three, and. These are eighth notes. So down with the fingers, up with the thumb on the and, three and, four and, and then the sixteenth notes, one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, one. And as I speed up, right now I just want to get this this motion. So one e and a, two e and a. So you can always want to work on strums as slow as you need to go. One, two. Three, four, one and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Now, that's the flamenco. Down with the fingers, up with the thumb. With the thumb brush, we're going to do the opposite. Down with the thumb and up with the index finger singular. So this one, and we and we generally think about the low strings, six, five, four, maybe three, but kind of just the, more of the bass strings. And this comes up more with this. So we go one, two, three, and see I'm kind of just thumbing across the strings. Again, if you look at my, if you look at my forearm, there's I'm not moving it down like that. It's just I'm letting the thumb come down. And then for the eighth note, one and two and three and four and one and two. There's a little up and down motion in the wrist, but not much. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So if I take like an E major chord, I'll hear the difference with the flamenco, which will be more articulate, louder, and more concise. So I'd uh, just more like a, a rhythmic, a rhythmically articulate strum. So. It's a fuller sound. And then if I take the E major and do the thumb brush. One. And I just want to practice um, with my strumming patterns, just doing different combinations of those subdivisions. So I might go one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. And that same rhythm with my thumb brush. So down with the wrist turn, up with the thumb, down with the fingers of wrist turn, up with the thumb wrist turn for flamenco, down with the thumb, up with the fingers for thumb brush.